Hello, welcome to an extreme home refresh um, and also an attempt to normalize normal living. Um, I say that because on the day that I filmed all of this and this, did this entire home refresh, it was my wedding anniversary. <laughs> so yes, we did go out and have a very romantic dinner. Um, we went and had also a very romantic brunch and you'll see my husband poking his head in a few times and we're probably going to be kissing a lot in this video because it's of course a special day but that doesn't mean that we're going to hop up and go on vacation and be gone and you know kind of leave all of the regular tasks of life that need to be taken care of um so i just want to let you know that if you feel like you're normal it's okay we don't all have to be like living these grandiose lives or trying to put on a front for the internet and i just really really for some reason wanted to drive that home um in this video as well as impart my tips for keeping a clean and organized home So in addition to it being my anniversary or our wedding anniversary I should say and I'm sure you saw me putting up some birthday cards on my desk over there I was also leaving the next day um, to travel for a funeral so yes it is okay to do all the things and for all the things to kind of just be like the everyday things because in reality it's those everyday things and those small tasks that happen every day that make up your life. Um, I think that's why I have a YouTube channel kind of just dedicated to homemaking because I do feel like these small things I do, decluttering, organizing, cleaning, do add to the quality of life for myself, my husband, and my children. This will be the only time in this video, um, aside from washing some dishes, that you're going to see me picking up all the trinkets off of a shelving unit and dusting them all. That is because this is not a deep clean video. This is a home refresh video. Um, I was also rushing trying to make a brunch reservation, so I didn't have time to deep clean, but getting the dust off of everything is a must i'm sure in a few scenes here you'll be able to see like the dust just flying off everywhere um but i just wanted to say that even though this is a house refresh and i do feel as though it's a pretty in-depth clean it is not as deep as my deep cleaning videos which you can watch on a playlist on my channel if you're interested or just subscribe because i'm sure i will have many more of those in the future
I want to talk about why I only wear one glove. I am obviously dominant in one hand, my right hand, and so therefore I pretty much clean and scrub and use all the elbow grease with that right hand and then I leave my left hand free so that I can do things um, where you need nimble fingertips without it. I do recommend using gloves when you're cleaning with things that are harsh. Um, I tend to clean with only vinegar, that's what's in that spray bottle there. But when I use things like a Clorox disinfecting wipe or a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, I don't like to touch that with my bare hands because it's very harsh to the skin and it also ruins the fingernails. If it wasn't evident, obviously I was listening to music while cleaning. That's what all the bopping around is for. Um, I would say that's a major key too. If you're not cleaning to music, you might be a psychopath. <laughs> Joking, of course. It just, it really, you know how music just does something to the mind. It just does something to your vibe. Like, I wouldn't say cleaning is the most enjoyable thing, but when you add music to it, it just helps the task go by quicker. So if I were to recommend anything outside of my cleaning formula, which is declutter, organize, and clean, I definitely would say also play music while you're doing all of the above. The owner suite always takes the longest to clean, whether I'm doing a refresh or a deep clean. So the owner suite includes um, the master bedroom, which we're in right now, the master, the en suite, which you saw me refresh in the previous clips, and also our closet, which is my clothes. Um, but by the time I got out here, since this is just a refresh, all I had to do was. Um, dust everything because we know how I feel about the sheet of dust that lands on everything and it's amazing how much cleaner and better everything feels um, just by dusting so I recommend that major key if you don't have the time to do a deep clean just make sure you give things a once over with some vinegar and a microfiber as you see me doing here but also remember to dust. I just want to reiterate here that this is a refresh so instead of cleaning down every single inch of the sliding glass doors I'm just looking for my kids little fingerprints and I'm wiping those off the key here is just to make everything look nice and orderly I'm not necessarily looking for things to deep clean um, I cleaned all of these 
slip covers on this couch maybe like two weeks ago at this point so I just needed to fluff the pillows and pull off some feathers that were there and now I've moved on to the kitchen which winds up taking a long time and while I was in here I realized that it needs a deep clean flush out so make sure you're following or subscribing so that you can see that video it's going to be a good one because I'm going to deep clean the fridge as well and that's always so satisfying um, so before I get to cleaning, of course, I am putting away the clean dishes and clearing off um, any of the items that land on the island so that everything is away and everything can be cleaned properly. So I want to talk about the right side of my refrigerator <laughs> for a moment. Um, obviously it is right next to our drink station where we have our tea and our coffee so we're kind of over there a lot. And I'm sure you can tell by the rest of my home that I really don't like a lot of clutter and a lot of busyness. But for some reason I love having pictures and magnets over here on this right side of the refrigerator like that. I would love to know your thoughts like does that area just look completely junky i i feel like it kind of does but i still like it for some reason something about it is so endearing but i want your thoughts if you have like a super clean home like me and you like things to see clean lines and clean things everywhere like do you have a space in your house that just kind of looks like the right side of my fridge i'm curious let me know in the comments So let me give you another tip of mine. Um, I only clean the things in my kitchen with vinegar. This is the kitchen, obviously we cook here, we eat here, um, our children do their homework on the island. So I never want any dangerous chemicals around our food or around these kind of high traffic areas. So I just wanted to recommend cleaning with it doesn't necessarily have to be vinegar or as clean as vinegar but maybe green products or other things um, in high traffic areas and especially areas where you are eating So I just had a mom moment um, over here in the editing studio, AKA my cloth When I opened up the dishwasher, I'm like, oh my gosh, is the work of a mom ever finished? Like 
here I am talking about this is a refresh because it is a refresh. I'm not deep cleaning anything, but it seems as though the work is never done. Now, I may have done it to myself, of course, because I decided to do a refresh of my whole, my whole, wow, my whole home. If you speak Patois, you know why that H didn't pronounce. Um, but anyways, I decided to do this refresh of my whole home because I was leaving. Um, I was going to the funeral by myself, so my husband and our children were going to be staying home, and I just wanted the place to be nice and clean for them. <clears throat> and also, I wanted to be able to come back from being out of town and not have like a ton of things to do. If you're a mom and a wife, then you know what I'm talking about. You know what, we really have some nerve buying items that are hand wash only. I feel like we could make our lives a whole lot easier by not doing that. But alas, how would all the um, pointless cups that we need survive in the world? Um, I wanted to talk about this. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm having a brain freeze, but this thing that holds all the paint and you can mix paint colors in, in like my last video i want to say i was talking about a project i was working on um with my daughter it took us a week to do this whole like project of the golden gate bridge and i finally had to clean out this paint thing and it's like why clean it out why are you putting in so much elbow grease and there were some scenes i cut out so this video wasn't so long but I find that I do that because if it is not completely clean, I do not want to use it. Is that weird? Is there anyone else like that? Like I would literally need to go to the craft store and buy a new one of those if the paint got to a point where you could no longer wash it off. I don't know. Let me know in the comments something else. I'm trying to obviously have conversation with you guys. So let me know. Let me know I'm not alone. Is ironing part of a home refresh? Debatable. Um, it's all the work that I had to do in the home this day. As I've mentioned, I was leaving town the next day um, after recording this video and I needed to iron my clothes, um, <laughs> obviously before I left so they weren't all crinkled up. And the cameras are rolling so this is in here i'm obviously not going to keep this on too long because i don't think i'm doing anything special with this ironing that anybody couldn't do um but because i do set my ironing board up right here it's just like the perfect place to iron in my home in my opinion i was like let me just throw this in here so y'all know that this is just what we do right um this is just how we live life Anyways, I'm on to my children's room, well, their bathroom, because I did not clean up their room um, before leaving, which is a lie. I did. I just didn't film it because I was starting to get tired. But again, in here, it's just a refresh. I'm not wiping down every single thing. I do wipe down the bases of the toothbrushes because they always get so gunked up with like the toothbrush and excess water and stuff that just... I don't know, gravity pulls down into those cracks and crevices. Um, but besides that, everything else is a refresh, um, as you can see.
Hashtag, how many times do you have to re-roll the toilet paper in your kid's bathroom? Um, anyways, okay, here we go with me doing something that is deep clean behavior in a refresh. I'll tell you why. I only had one, um clorox disinfecting wipe left and in the last video i had i told you how much i actually enjoy using these for cleaning the baseboards yes i know there are things that you can buy where you don't have to be bent over on your hands and knees like this but hours broke i do you know what's the point of buying it if it's just gonna break you just do it the old school way that's tried and true and so because of that one disinfecting wipe i decided to clean the office baseboards because i have been cleaning the baseboards before summer it's something i do i'm not even about to lie on here i try to do it twice a year clean the baseboards but since i've been working on it in the rest of the house um i figured let me just do that room that day anyways here i am now moving into the guest bedroom this is the only place that is getting the full deep cleaning treatment and that is because as i mentioned in the beginning of this video the day that this was being filmed was our wedding anniversary and my parents were coming over and they were going to watch the kids for us and because we were going to have guests i wanted the guest bathroom and the guest bedroom to be completely clean so i am scrubbing down in here If you are not vacuuming your headboard, sideboards, footboard, I feel bad for you, son. You got 99 problems and dust is certainly one of them. I don't know why I do that. Every time I talk about cleaning something, I don't know why I have to turn into Jay-Z. I guess because I'm very serious about it. Um, the headboard and the footboard and the sideboards, whatever these are called right here, they hold so much dust you will breathe so much better by vacuuming them you do not have to do this often i would say once a month twice a month do it this is the guest bedroom so i'll be real it hadn't been done in quite a while i typically do this before we have guests but i do do i do do <laughs> i do vacuum the headboard sideboards footboards in the master suite probably once a month and i would suggest doing that as well same thing with your light fixtures light always attracts dust you always want to dust those off okay we are just about finishing up with this whole home refresh thank you so much for watching um please hit me up in the comments make sure you subscribe for more content like this this is typically what i do one thing that i did not film was vacuuming all the floors i did not mop but i vacuumed um if you were cleaning with me kudos be well <laughs>